Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be creating this look what you see here. I'll be creating this Indian makeup look with smoky eyes and with this glowy base. And this look you can actually wear for different kind of occasion. You can wear this for Navratri, Durga Puja or Diwali. For any festival, you can wear this look and you can also wear this if you are attending some wedding. If you are guest to some wedding, you can totally wear this look. So if you are interested how I created this look, please keep on watching this video. So I'll start with my eyes because I'm going to do a smoky eye look and there can be some fallout and I don't want my face makeup to spoil so uh, we'll do our eye makeup first and then face makeup. So for my eyebrows I'm using this pencil from Nykaa. It's their brow girl brow definer pencil. So first I'm lining my eyebrows using this pencil and then I'll fill in my eyebrows. Next I'm cleaning my eyebrows using this concealer from Miss Claire. Uh, you can totally skip this step, this is not at all mandatory. But I like to clean my eyebrows so and that's why I'm doing it. upper part of the eyebrow and the lower part I'll do when I'll uh, you know prep my eyes uh, so let's do that now now to prep my eyes I'm using this eyeshadow base from NYX this one is in the shade skin tone and uh, I'm taking this on from a brush and I'll just apply it all over my lids and at the same time I'm cleaning the lower part of my eyebrows as well So I'm applying it in the inner corners because you generally get darkness in these inner corners and we forget to actually conceal that area. Now I'm using little bit of powder to set this concealer on the eyes. Uh, sorry this eyeshadow base not the concealer. For my eyeshadow today I'm using this palette from Huda Beauty. It's their rose gold remastered palette. And this is how this palette looks from inside. So first I'm taking this black shade and I'm using this kind of angular brush to apply this shade. So I'm picking uh, this shade on this brush. Tapping off the excess. And then I'll apply this color like we apply eyeliner. So. So that's why I'm using this angular brush because it's easy to do this with this kind of brush. And I'm applying the same color very close to my lash line. I'm also uh, flicking this color upwards to blend this. So I'm taking my time and blending this black eyeshadow so that there is no uh, harsh line. Also I have not taken more color. I'm working with the uh, color we took first time only. So for now I'm stopping at this point only and we will increase the intensity of this black color if we want uh, later. Next I'm taking this shade. I'm using this fluffy brush 
tapping of the excess and I'll apply this on the uh, outer V's only. I'm not taking this color on the inner part of the crease, I'm taking, uh, applying it only on the outer part. Next I'm taking this shade. Now this shade I'll apply uh, in my crease. I want to increase the density of the brown color so I am taking little bit of that brown color and I will apply here. Again applying it only on the outer corners not taking it uh, you know uh, totally inside just applying it here. Taking that light brown shade again and just blending it. So whenever you are doing this kind of smoky looks, right? You, you know, uh, you will have to spend some time. You'll have to blend the shadows properly. Next, I'm taking this shade and I'll apply this shade using my fingers. I'm taking this flat brush and I'll take the same color on the flat brush and I'll just fix the edges. Going back to this shade, blend this color. Basically blending everything together. So you can see the black shade what we applied is totally gone. So I'm taking the black shade again on the same brush and applying it. Not totally till the end, only till this part and uh, again to the you know close to the lower lash line I'm blending as well this color so that there is no you know visible harsh lines. Now I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm not taking any color on this and I'll just blend the edges of this. And I'm going in circular motions. That is the best way to blend your shadows. So here you can see there is no visible harsh lines, right? So that's what we want. So that's it for eye makeup for now. Let's do face makeup and then we'll come back to eye. 
Now, if you are getting ready for a festival or uh, some kind of occasion, you want your makeup to last for a really long time. So that's why we are starting uh, with primer. So for that, I'm using this primer from Smashbox. It's their Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer. So it's a silicone based primer so it will blur the face really well it will provide a very you know smooth canvas to work on and it will make your uh, makeup to last for a really long time so i have taken the primer by the way i have already prepped my face so i'm applying it on the areas where i have more pores So I want to achieve a glowy base and for that I'm using this stroke cream from MAC Cosmetics. This one is in the shade pink light. So I'm just taking this stroke cream and I will, uh, I will apply this all over my face. So it provides a uh, very nice glow to your skin. So you can see I have these marks here and I want to uh, you know conceal these marks so that's why I'm using this concealer and correct palette from NYCA. You actually don't need to do, uh, do this if you have uh, you know clear skin and if you don't have any kind of marks or if you don't want to do color correcting and add uh, one more layer to your uh, makeup but I just want to conceal this mark so I'm using it. I'm taking it on the brush and I'm just concentrating on the uh, areas where I have this mask I'm applying with a very light hand and blending in the you know in this specific area now for foundation I'm using this Maybelline Super Stay foundation I'm in the shade 220 natural beige and this foundation is a really good foundation it lasts for a really long time so I always prefer this foundation for any kind of festivals or occasions so I'm taking this foundation on back of my hand next I'm using this damn beauty sponge this sponge is from YPP you should always use a damp sponge I never use dry sponge now I'm taking the foundation on the sponge directly and applying it you can you know just apply it with your fingers and then uh, blend it and just uh, directly taking the foundation For concealer, I'm using this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I have these two shades with me. Uh, one shade is medium, which is uh, very close to my skin tone, and uh, other shade is light, which I use as a highlighting concealer. So first, I'm using the shade medium. Almost over, I think this is the last time I'll be using this concealer. So I'm applying this under my eyes. and around my nose uh, that's it and i'll just blend it using this brush next i'm using this shade light and i'll use this uh, to highlight so i'm applying this the inner corners and here I 
and I'll uh, also apply this on the other area which I want to highlight. The Anara area I will uh, blend with the brush. So I am blending it uh, in its place only. I am not you know swiping this, I am blending it with the pressing motion. Once this part is blended, I will just with the whatever is left on the brush, I will apply on the rest of the area. Next, I'll go over with the beauty sponge so that uh, if there is any excess product, uh, this will absorb that excess product and it will blend everything. So now to set my concealer, I'm using this powder from Maybelline. It's their Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm in the shade 15 light. I'm taking the powder on the concealer brush and I'll uh, set the concealer under the eyes. So first I'll just uh, make sure there are no creases. And I'm taking excess product. First I apply the product and then I just you know blend it. Now I'm using this brush for you know to apply powder on the rest of the face. I am taking this big brush and taking little bit of powder and just set rest of the face very lightly I'm not applying too much of powder because the foundation which I used is a matte foundation so with a very light hand I am setting the rest of the face I am actually not doing any contouring I will just uh, uh, bronze up my face and for that I am using this physician formula butter bronzer it's a highly pigmented product so I always take it and then just swirl it on my hand and then I'll apply it. I'll also apply it on my jawline. And little bit on the sides here. For blush, I'm using this blush from Calaba. It's their Cheek Illusion Blush, and this one is in the shade Bronzing Glaze. I'm using this uh, blush brush from a Wet n Wild for that. Taking the color again. Tapping off the excess and apply it. For highlighter, I am using this pack baked highlighter in the shade BK12. blinding highlighter
I'm using the same highlighter to highlight my inner corners and brow bone as well. Now let's go back to eyes. Next I'm taking this black coal from Park and I'll apply this very close to my upper lash line. And I'm blending this with the same brush. Swatching this with the same brush. Uh, next, I'm taking this shade. And next, I'm taking this shade. And this shade I'll apply to the outer part of my lower lash line. Now I'll set everything in place using this MAC Fix Plus. For mascara, I'm using this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I really like this mascara, it gives a very nice volume to the lashes. For lipstick, I'm using this liquid lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Mary Jo K. I wanted to wear a bold color with this eye look, that's why I'm going with this red shade. But you can totally uh, wear some nude shade if that's your thing. So I wore these beautiful earrings, this pindi and this dupatta and this is the final look and I'm really really loving this look. And that's all for today's video. I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful for you. If you did, please like and share this video. Also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you'll be notified for my future uploads. I'm planning on doing more such Indian looks on my channel so if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Until then take care. Bye.